Worldview exists to inspire, create, and explore new perspectives for a radically improved future. This means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Uh, but for us, what it means is creating the opportunity to shift one's perspective about this earth we live on. Astronauts have long talked about what they call the overview effect, where they get to experience our earth and seeing it uh, without borders, without race, and seeing something bigger than themselves. And I think most importantly, seeing earth as a living organism. And when astronauts return from space after having experienced the overview effect, they often talk about having found a, a new respect for our Earth. And so when we talk about why we exist, this idea to inspire, create, and explore new perspectives, and these four fundamental beliefs are what we define as space tourism. And those four beliefs are that space tourism is about place, it's about time, it's about affordability, and it's about accessibility. So when we talk about the overview effect, one of the things that's really important is to provide contrast. And so when we designed our space tourism solution, what we designed was an approach around what we call the seven wonders of the world stratospheric edition. And it's these seven wonderful, amazing places on our planet where you can experience contrast. So it's places like uh, Spaceport Grand Canyon, where you can stand on the edge of the Grand Canyon and see this massive wonder on our Earth. And then a few days later, take a ride to the stratosphere and see just how small the Grand Canyon is in the big picture. And that contrast helps amplify the overview effect. Space tourism is also about time. It's important to have an opportunity to truly take in that which you're seeing, not just the Earth, but the stars above, and be able to truly see just how our planet is a living organism and see beyond borders, see beyond race, and truly see the Earth as a living organism. That takes time. It takes time to truly appreciate what you're seeing. It can't be done in minutes. It has to be done in hours. When we talk about the benefit of the overview effect, the benefit is more people having more respect for a planet. And so when we design space tourism through the lens of worldview, we knew it had to be affordable. If it's affordable, that means more people can do it. And if more people experience space tourism, then there will be more people that have a higher level of respect for our planet. And that, in turn, can create a radically improved future. Space tourism is about accessibility. There are lots of different ways to get to space. You know, the most obvious one is riding on a rocket. Uh, and that's got to be a thrill. But it locks out a lot of people. It locks out a lot of people who are, don't have the physical ability to withstand the six Gs of a rocket launch that don't have the ability to withstand the 4Gs of re-entering into the Earth's atmosphere. Our solution is a 1G ride. It's a gentle ascent into uh, the edge of space, where you spend time looking at our Earth, and then it's a gentle ride back down to the surface of the Earth. This opens it up to a much broader age range and a much broader set of people with a much broader set of physical abilities. And so for worldview, Creating accessibility means, again, more people can experience space tourism. And the more people who experience space tourism, the more people who experience the overview effect, the more people will respect our planet.